Hello everybody, I'm Catslobo7 and today I'm just gonna voice over this um, raw footage of me playing Axeboy and I am in love with Axeboy. Not like that, you know, not fucking ship cats at Axeboy or some shit like that, but you know, he's just such a really fun hunter to use. And the thing with him is he's really versatile and you have to learn how to play him because he can be tricky at times. For example, if you want to get the flames or the resentful, the resentful flames to actually hit somebody, you need full presence. If you want the roots to actually increase your speed, you need to get that first skill unlocked. So that's basically through hitting people. Now, I'm going to be a little campy and wait for somebody to come save. Um, the build I'm running is on up and down and then with tinnitus and something else. I think it was attack recovery on chair, but I think that's it. So here comes the priest. I goofed up because I brought the flame toward the, um, the chair and it counts as a hit. So I messed up there, so I'm gonna smack the priestess, get my attack recovery, then I'm gonna hit the priestess again. And you're wondering, oh, why didn't I go for the other one that was on the chair? Because even if she was to go across to the bridge and teleport, teleport with her portal, I still have my roots to catch up to her and get that hit, just like so. Boom, hit. I used my flame there to um, actually hit her. So I used a speed boost, got another speed boost, I caught up to her, and then used my flame to hit her, bring her back down. Now I'm gonna bring her to a chair. <laughs> And now both the prin both prince ah princesses Jesus I'm freaking playing cowboy and princess of rev both priestesses are down. Now I know someone's around me. Oh hello hello. Bring my flame toward me. Boom bang. So it doesn't have to bounce off to get a hit. It can just come toward you and still get the hit in general. Now I think the yeah he's gonna come save. I hit the chair. I'm not really aware of his um how you say his hitbox. It's kind of a weird hitbox, but still um the prospector magnet. He um, delayed my recovery, which is great for me. Brought the flames to the perfumer, smack. Delayed the save. Um, Priestess is down. I got three survivors down, two surfers to go. Now there's someone around here. Um, that Priestess is down. I hear the surfers to my left. That means they're decoding. Put the prospector on the chair because he was the first one to be downed. I don't know why they would finish that. That's weird. Where are you going? You going back to the, priest, the perfumer? Oh no, you double back. Okay, get that speed boost. Smack. You went inside. Um, I think the perfume is gonna get up soon. Put him back on the chair. Yeah, she's running away. Now, I just love the fact that how fast he is. And then when he gets that full presence, he's deadly. Now, what I really hate is early game. His early game is like trash. I should have blinked there. That's my fault. But still, his early game is, is kind of meh. You really need to get that first skill unlocked. But you need... Okay, and something else you have to know. In order to use the flames, like the resentful flame or soul, whatever the hell it is. I call it flame because it literally looks like flames to me. Uh, you need a tree. You must plant the tree down. If you run out of trees, you have to pick out another tree, take a branch, and then you can get another tree. You plant it down. That's basically what it does. And... You can't activate the flame without, you can't, you have to activate the flame. You have to be around a tree. That's common sense. That's what you have to do in order to use it. Now here comes some, um, I thought I can hit that. Ugh, that would have been so dope though. I was accurate as fuck. All right, blink, smack. Now his hitbox is weird. Like he can do like a full, not a 360. That's, that's kind of that's dragging it. Maybe like a little 180 or maybe a little bit more. But it's still dope as hell. Oh, um, this is kind of far. I hope I can get it. But the ability to bounce off the flame and stuff like that can really give you an advantage, especially if you're like you're chasing somebody. They're far. You can bounce it off and hit them. He's just so cool. But the thing is, his early game can really bring him down. All right. Um, I saw a ping over here. Over here. See how fast I'm going? I just love this. I feel like a like a dream witch, but like not with the servants, but like just her itself. Just running around so fast and shit. I don't know. That's just me. I love it. So I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh well, yeah. Um. I think she's gonna go for the dungeon. And just walk around a little bit. I don't see her anywhere near me. Take a branch off so I can plant the tree somewhere else. Now I'm gonna go check over here. See if the dungeon's to my left. Cause that's a small area for the dungeon. Not there. All right. So in order to use the roots, you must aim straight. The whatever direction your hunter's head is facing. That's, that's how I see it. Whichever way the hunter's facing. Oh, you are here. Hello. 
Okay, see how I can't activate my flame? Because I have no trees up, correct? So I have to, in order to do that, I have to plant down a tree and I get to activate my ability. Now, we can play this game. It's like a freaking solo game of Chicken Run. If you don't know what Chicken Run is, um, my subscribers play it with me. Damn it, I missed. And then I swear, if I, if I, go, if I go over there, he's going to teleport back and then kill me. So, mm, nope, nope, nope. Come on, fall for it. No, he didn't fall for it. He's smart. He would um portal back. All right, hope I can get this. Boom. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Uh, uh. I feel like I'm throwing a snowball. Smack. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think that's GG, and they surrendered after here. Um, this is the Axe Boy. I'm Catch the Wall Seven. Later.